All right, so we got out of town for a little family reunion, which has now ended. So I'm going to try this uh, city beach here. It's along the river in Idaho, so not even in my same state. I already got a nickel that I didn't show, but here's another nickel. See what we can get. I got my little piece of chain here. It's probably junk. I think I can kind of see some discoloration, so. Okay. Here we go. Not bad, but it's coming up to 14. So that was ringing up amazing. It was like ringing up almost to 40 sometimes. I don't know how the heck that's still in here. And that was such an amazing silver sounding signal. All right, let's keep going. Check it out, I got a ring. Snake ring. Yes, that was gonna be bling, but boom. Got a ring. Okay, got me a quarter. Ooh, look at that. Got another one. Huh. I to think of that one. That looks like it could possibly be silver. Actually. Well. I'll have to check it out. Okay, so that's a little rain did turn out to be uh, 925. It's really hard to see, but it does have a mark in there. I couldn't see it without my loop. But the crazy thing is, this was coming up at 15. So, because it's so small, and then there's little holes in it everywhere, it'll change your reading quite a bit. So, anyways, here's a piece of silver that if you... <laughs> Weren't digging pull tabs you had never got. Well, I got a little time left. I got a quarter. There's some guy that hits this really hard. And I'm so impressed because there's hardly any sounds in here. So I'm always impressed when I can come out here and get almost anything. So pretty happy with two rings, but we'll see. Got a little time left. Yeah, so got a 30 here. It's probably just a quarter. But... Yeah, I'll go live there just because it's good like a silver ring. Looks like we got a quarter. Hey, there's kind of a cool old earring, warm old earring. Yeah, that's coming up to 16. All right, I might have something good here. Some sort of little pendant. If I get lucky, maybe this will be precious metals. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to wait to find out. There's too much mud caked in here. Well, I got it washed up. I don't see any marks. I will check it when I get home with my loop. But uh, I think it's going to be bling. I had hope for it because it just seems so well built for a piece of bling. even kind of looks like little sapphires in it. So, I don't know. Well, I found some sort of native style badge or something. I don't know what it goes to. It's kind of neat. So I 
supposed to be copper. Sure ringing up good. Well, I'm hitting a different volleyball court. Got me a little stud. There's a lot of studs in these volleyball courts, that's for sure. Look at that. Got another stud. This one looks like a little leaf or this could be a feather. Hard to say. Cool, let's keep going. Wow. I can hardly believe this. Look. Right on the edge of the volleyball court. And I think I got a silver quarter. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That was nobody ever grabbed that, including me. 1942. Boom. How cool is that? All right. See what else we can get. Well, I'm not too far from where I got that silver quarter, which was a 42. Here's a 47 Canadian. So maybe there's a few older coins still over here. Alright, I got me a little ring here. It says G-Man. Squished. Fortunately, it's also broken. But this must just be made out of steel because it was coming up like a six. Kind of surprising. Okay, so this little G-Man ring turns out to be uh, kind of cool. So I found it online. And they're saying it's from the 1930s and it's based on the FBI agent who killed uh, John Dillinger and Pretty Boy Floyd named Alvin Purvis. And I guess he uh, had this little junior G-man core for government man. And anyways, I guess you could find these in like Cracker Jack and cereal boxes. So yeah, a little 1930s ring. The crazy thing is, it's like right on top. <laughs> like, it's so weird. Anyways, never know what you're going to find.